Hey guys, we're back with another educational video and in this week we are talking about fasted exercise. Now last week we talked about lumen and uh, whether or not it's helpful to know what fuel you're using predominantly during exercise. This is popular maybe like 15, 20 years ago. Many people would say, well you don't want to do high intensity exercise because that burns mostly carbohydrates as fuel, whereas if you do low intensity stuff, you're burning mostly fat. And that was kind of the predominant theory of the time is you wanted to be in the fat burning zone, which was like 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. And what we found over time was not only did, did that not pan out in terms of more fat loss when compared to high intensity exercise, if anything, there appeared to be a slight favoritism towards high intensity exercise when you equated for work. One of the other misinterpretations of, uh, I guess, physiology was that we should do exercise fasted or do cardio fasted. Well, there's, there's two problems with this. The first off is that there is some data suggesting that people who train fasted have worse performance than those that train in a fed state. Now, that's on average. I know there are certain people out there who hate training with food on their stomach. Okay, if that's you, I'm not saying you've got to train with food on your stomach. I would argue that you could have something very digestible that's light on your stomach that doesn't make you feel bloated and you can still have really good workouts and perhaps enhance your performance. But hey, if you insist on being fasted and that works for you and that's what you want to do, then hey, it can certainly work. Is it optimal based on the science? The I would say no. But hey, what's optimal for most people isn't necessarily what's optimal for you. That being said, uh, there was a lot of claims being made around, well, if you do fasted exercise, you'll burn a lot more fat because you don't have anything to draw from, so your body's immediately going to go to stored body fat. Couple problems with that. Sleep is not really a glycogen depleting <laughs> uh, activity. Like, yes, you'll, you'll burn through some stored liver glycogen and whatnot, but you're not going to touch your muscle glycogen for the most part. And you're probably not even going to burn through all your liver glycogen or even close to it. But there are studies show that when you exercise fasted, you do burn a greater percentage of the calories from fat compared to carbohydrate, which you burn a greater percentage of calories from if you're fed before you go into exercise. People go, there we go. Metabolic Mike, for example, claimed that fasted exercise was superior because they saw an increase in fat oxidation from fasted exercise. No doubt, absolutely. You will burn a greater percentage of calories from fat if you exercise fasted. However, when you look at the data on actual fat loss, where calories are equated and they do fasted exercise versus non-fasted, you don't see a difference. Why is that? Well, the research shows that if you train fasted, yes, you burn a greater percentage of calories from fat during that exercise. But if you're equating calories, what do you have to do after that exercise? You're going to eat a greater proportion of food and carbohydrate because you didn't eat before it because you have to equate for those calories on a daily basis. Whereas if you ate before your, your exercise, now some of those carbohydrates, fats, proteins have already been taken off the table. You're not having as much through the rest of the day. So guess what happens? If you eat before training, you burn less fat during the activity, you burn more fat throughout the rest of the day. If you train fasted, you burn more calories from fat during the exercise, you burn less fat throughout the rest of the day because you're eating more food throughout the rest of the day. You can't hack your metabolism. We have 20 years of research on this now showing that fasted cardio or fast exercise is not superior for fat loss. But if you, on a personal level, enjoy fasted exercise and that allows you to be consistent and you prefer it over fed exercise, it's totally fine to do. But it's not superior and it's not gonna make you lose more fat. All right guys, if you like this video, click the like and subscribe buttons and check out our products via the links in the description, including our educational books as well as our new nutritional coaching app, Carbon Diet Coach. Carbon Diet Coach, you download it, plug in your information, gives you customized nutrition recommendations and adjust them based on how you progress to optimize them to your body and metabolism. And it does it all for less than $10 a month. Go check it out guys and hope you have a great week.